In the second video, I would actually like to prepare the first operating section of the statement of cash flows using the principle that I outlined in the first video. First of all, the basic setup of this statement is described right here. You have to write out a very good title, otherwise your statement would look like a headless horseman. And um, you gotta realize that we would only discuss in this section non-cash current assets and liability changes. Why? Cash part will be taken care of at the very end of the statement. Let's take a look. I gave you a data for a demonstration company right here. The bottom part is your income statement and the top part comparative balance sheet where I have data for year 2004 to the right and year 2005 to the left. In most statements comparative data goes from the oldest to the right and then the newest and the most current to the left. But it could be reversed so be careful with that one. So I'm going to grab a blank piece of paper and start writing out my statement. So here is the demonstration company to start my title and I've got statement, I'm abbreviating, of cash flows for the year again it's very important, it's for the period for the year ending December 31st 2005 and we are preparing cash flows from operating activities. Okay, the starting point is net income. Net income will come from your income statem, statement, the very bottom one, $35,000. $35,000. We will follow up with adjustments to that net income. The very first one, if you remember, step one, is to find your depreciation, amortization, or depletion. On my data, I have depreciation listed right here, $15,000. I am going to add it back to my net income because there's no cash outflow. Add depreciation expense. $15,000. Next step is to adjust for your gains or losses. And right here I have gain on sale of land that was added to arrived at net income. Now I'm going to subtract it to neutralize it. Minus gain on sale of land $20,000 and I highly recommend putting parentheses so as you are nervous during the exam do not add the whole column. Um, there's no other gains and losses and now we are ready to go through your non-cash current assets and liabilities. I already went ahead and coded decreases or in increases from beginning of the year to the end. How uh, were you to do that. Just take a look. In the accounts receivable you started the year with $39,000 dropping down to 30. Prepaid rent started at 10 up to 15. So it's a $5,000 increase and so forth. Now I'm going back and I will code them as a decrease um, debits or credits I meant. So think of it as accounts receivable your normal debits and credits rules to decrease an account receivable which is an asset we need to credit it. To increase a prepaid or inventory they're both assets we need to debit the accounts. To increase accounts payable which is a liability we gotta be on the credit side. Increase again interest payable credit side and then a decrease in a payable will be a debit. Now if you remember the rule, the generic rule that I provided you was subtract debit changes and add credit change. So here's my changes again 
subtract, debit, deduct, D, add, credit. So credit must be added, debit, debit, deduct, deduct, credit, credit, plus, plus, and then debit, deduct. Now I am ready to write them out. To make it easy, I'm going to go ahead and fold it over like that. So it could all fit in the screen for you guys. Okay. So I will add decrease in accounts receivable. In accounts receivable, $9,000. I will de I will subtract deduct increase in prepaid rent five thousand parenthesis again I will subtract increase in inventory two thousand dollars. I'm not doing any thinking. I already did it all. I'm writing just I'm writing my signs and putting my increases decreases that are listed. Again, add increase in accounts payable $6,000. Add increase in interest payable four thousand dollars and the last one subtract decrease in taxes payable two thousand dollars we almost done then unfolded it all out if you add them all up you will add to net cash provided it's going to be a positive number for us therefore it's provided by operating activities and if you end up with a negative number you would say used by the operating activities activities and it's forty thousand dollars in our case we're done